Well, thank you very much for sticking around while I closed up the cafe. Well, what kind of a gentleman would I be not to see a lady home? I'm seeing you home, too. <laughs> I'm just glad you're still speaking to me. Oh, Charlie, come on. Everybody's got a past. Yeah, some are more checkered than others. Mm. I'm happy to be clean and sober now. It takes a lot of strength to try and change, you know? What? Did I miss something? No, no, no. I was just thinking how many millions of times have I said those exact words to my brother. What, is he a real stinker? Oh, yeah. The biggest. Mm. Real brother? <laughs> he is, uh, unique, I guess you could say. It would take years to explain him. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. At least not until I find out if the lead on my son pans out. You actually have a few things in common with my brother, although I think you've been better at fighting your demons than he has been. Well, I'm trying anyway. So tell me about your brother. Tell me about your kids. Tell me about your childhood. Yeah, I don't want to bore you. Not even a chance. Vicky, I have got all the time in the world to spend with you if you want to. Yeah, I do. God, not again. Just pretend you didn't see me and go back to whatever. Oh. It's easy. I gotta tell you, your friend Gigi has just about the worst timing of anybody I have ever known. Yeah, she does. Oh. But, I mean, maybe it's not a bad thing. We're still getting to know each other. Maybe we should, you know, as they say, take it slow. You think so? And I do too because I do not want to blow a good thing with the most interesting woman that I have met in a very long time. It's been a long time since I've heard something so nice from such an interesting man. It was very nice, thank you. Well, you better get used to hearing it. Okay. Good night, Charlie B. Huh. Good night, Vicky D. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, well, wait, aren't you going to go somewhere for Thanksgiving? No. Go to the cafe, it's open for business. Oh. And then actually we're having a little staff dinner at the end. If, if you're not doing anything, would you like to join us? That would be my great pleasure. I just want to say that even though I know you came here to lose yourself, I'm awfully glad I found you. Hello? One of the other waitresses at the cafe did, and she cannot stop smiling. <laughs> Charlie! Yeah, I just wanted to see if you got home all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm fine. Um, how about you? Did you run into a lot of traffic on your way back? <laughs> no, I made pretty good time. Now, what is that I'm hearing? Is that all you, March? Um, I, I actually, I don't know. I can turn it down, though, you know. No, it's okay. I'm one of my favorites. Oh. Yeah, I, I like it, too. Makes me feel kind of lonely, you know? Yeah, but in a good way, right? Exactly. So, I, I, I guess I should hang up, huh? You have to? No. No, not really. Okay. Tell me, Charlie B. What's your sign? Uh, no answer, right? Okay, hang on a second. Hey. No, no, Charlie. My timing again. I'll see you in the morning. No, no, no. Come in, come in. We're just finishing. Honest. Honest. Yeah, Vicky. Listen, I can hear you got company, so I'll let you go. Okay. I'll say good night then. Oh, one last thing. Hey, 
Sounds like you have company. Hold on. Um, let me see where it is. I'll be right with you, okay? There's somebody at his door. Yeah. Uh, I just want to know if you have uh, ever seen this woman. No, can't say that I have. She's traveling with this, this baby boy here. Take a, take a closer look. Oh, um, okay, just hang on a minute. Yeah, Vicky, um, listen, there's, uh, there's some guy here. He needs some help finding somebody, and I uh, kind of feel for him. He reminds me of me and my boy. Well, I'll just say goodnight then, okay? Hey, just, uh, one last thing. Uh, do you like roller skating? Excuse me? Roller skating. You know, like in a rink, but it's old school. You know, real roller skates, not these roller blades. Oh, Charlie, listen, I haven't done that in, like, forever. Right, neither have I, but I found this great place. It's out by the drive-in, so what do you say? Is it a date? Hello? Me? Sure, why not? It's a date. Good night. Sounds like things are going pretty good with you and Charlie. You know what? I'd say they're better than pretty good. <laughs> Finding her. I'm so happy for you and Charlie. Oh, no, no. There, there's no me and Charlie. Not yet. But you're getting there. He's a really nice man. Thank you for pushing me. I just hope I gave the right advice to my friend across the hall. She the one you took breakfast to? Yeah, she's a young, single mom like me. Only her baby's daddy is a real bastard. She's... Oh, sometimes it's really hard to know that you can come out okay at the other end. Maybe you could talk to her. I'd be happy to. Yeah. I mean, I'd certainly like to know somebody was looking out for my daughters if they were in trouble. My friend's room in the morning, Okay. I invited her to the cafe tomorrow night for dinner, but I'm not sure she'll come. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. I'd like to talk to her. <laughs>